the first take. <laughs> you know, there's been some interesting dialogue on this show over the last week and a half. I know I enjoyed watching it when uh, when I was out filling in for Jay Crawford. Hello, everyone. I'm Chris Thompson, Skip Bayless, Rob Parker, and Pittsburgh Steelers safety Ryan Clark. It's that relationship between the media and athletes. So since we have you here, Ryan, we'd be remiss not to talk about it. Right. I know we got into a little bit in the last segment. So. Rob, I know you wanted to, to kind of open this discussion back up now that we have Ryan here. Yeah, you, you know, we hear all this talk and, and, and the players now are writers who put in years of journalism school and covering games. All of a sudden, we, we can't comment or be critical because we haven't played on that level. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's a terrible crutch that players have grabbed hold of to have something. I understand we have the last say the last word right. we have the the columns we have the shows we have the radio show so this is a uh, it's it's just not real because there's so many other people around you in the game who also have not played at that level i do not have to have played i might not know what it feels like to play on that level play th the skill of that game on that level mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean i don't know football and i haven't studied it and i don't know when a guy has gotten beat or it's been a poor tackle because uh, a, a guy missed a running back coming straight at him, and I, that's a poor tackle. I don't have to have played in the NFL to, to notice that. And I, and, and I just I resent that a little bit. I just think that players aren't being real with that because they have coaches and GMs and all the other people around the league who did not play in the NFL, yet it's okay for them, and you're going to tell writers that we don't know the game. I think, you know, the first... The ironic part for, about this for me is this discussion started not because we were sensitive to athletes, but because a media member was sens uh, not sensitive, was called out. This all started because Kevin Durant says Skip doesn't know basketball. And then it was heightened when Skip sent a tweet out about what he did in high school, which was not asked for, by the way, but I felt like it was because of what Kevin Durant said and you were validating that you had had some experience in basketball, understanding what the point guard's supposed to do and this and that, which I felt was a mistake in the sense of you don't need, if it's not about playing or if y'all don't feel like it's about playing, you don't need to tell me what you did in high school playing basketball. Tell me about your years of journalism. Tell me about your years of being a colorist. Tell me about what you've covered and who you've and, 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 and I'll agree and what, with, and I'll agree and so with you. so that's, that's well, why, let me just say this that's real why quick. that started. Because this is what happens. They think that we just fell off the turnip truck and we, we, we don't have any reference, point of reference, or put in any time or energy or whatever. When you see highlights of games, Michael Jordan uh, making a shot over Craig Elo. I was there. I was in Cleveland. Right. I, I saw it firsthand. I talked to... So, so when you take all of that in, people think we just show up and we haven't put in any time. This is the highest level. You want to talk about the major leagues? ESPN is the major league. And I'm not... I'm, the, the, the honest answer to that is I'm not debating that you know basketball. What y'all have started to do, though, is go beyond the realm of analyzing the game, beyond the realm of analyzing the X's and O's, going into what people, the, their psyches, to what they think. In Skip's, in, in Skip's situation, saying, I want to put him on a lie detector. So now what you're saying is, so now what you're saying is, what I said to you is an untruth, and you're willing to go as far as to call me a liar, if that's how, because we're going to read things like you read it, as to call me a liar and say, so my thing is, how do you know what I'm thinking if you haven't been there. Now, you might know I shot two for 14. You know that's that, that, bad, you, right? You know that, that's bad. That. Okay. That's bad. But how do you know what I'm thinking? And see, and the way we think is, and the reason I feel like the reaction has been so bad because guys have came on, has come on and sa said things, is because you don't respect us intellectually. And I have, I've oh, got I, it. I, let me finish. Okay. I've gotten into it with reporters. We've, I've had an incident of face-to-face -face with a reporter in camp last year because he was trying know. to ask me questions about the Roonies, and I asked her, answered five times, no, I have no problems with Mr. Rooney. And then, and I was like, and I'm done with you. And I started laughing, and I was like, see, I won't let you write that story. And he's like, am I trying to write a story? I'm asking you a question. But see, his problem was that I called him on trying to write a story, and he doesn't respect me intellectually enough that I can do that. And Stephen A. Smith came on and said it. He said, okay, I just I was waiting for somebody to be pompous and arrogant enough to say it, just so I can come on here and talk about it. He said it. Do they have a degree like they want my job? Do they have a degree like me? Can they articulate like me? And I tweeted him. I said, I have the same degree in mass communications, and I can articulate as well 
and my hairline's not pushed oh, back. Oh, now, come on. Oh, Low blow. You know, and so, cheap shot. and my thing is, it could be a cheap shot, but he said he'll come in the locker room and find us. 3400 Southwater Drive, Pittsburgh, uh, PA, 15 And what three. are you going to do about it if he does? We could talk about it. As men, because once you come to the locker room, you because he said he can, he'll make it personal. Once you come that and make it, it's not about being personal. That's the one thing. That's a, that was a joke, right? And I right. needed to get that out, because what? He, but that's why. That's how I feel. That's why it's been such a problem. Now that athletes are spe speaking out, because we feel like, because you feel like that we haven't earned the right to give our opinion oh, no, on just, what you right. said, and all they did was give their opinion. And when you go to speaking about psyche of what we were thinking, when you start calling guys soft, that is beyond the realm of what you can learn right. Okay so, mm -hmm. okay, so you've been yeah, critical. Well, speaking of personal, let's go back to what happened the week before the Super Bowl you played in against Aaron Rodgers. On Media Day, you did a special little interview for First Take in which you went after me. And this is when we were supposed to be cool. And it was serious trash talk. I thought it was venomous trash talk. I thought it was revelatory. You were, you were sort of re revealing your true feelings about me. And I thought, wow. I, I wish they could play the clip clip because yeah, well, I don't the remember saying play. anything well, about your character. About or... No, but it was it got pretty heavy. What did you say? What, 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 what okay, did so here's, let me finish the story. So, so then I texted you a couple days later because I was about to make a pick against him for a dinner. And I was going to pick the Steelers. And I needed to know, is Troy Polamalu's... Achilles okay because I had serious doubts it was okay and you fired back an angry text saying yes it's okay I think you even all capped it as I recall first of like, all that's a lie because I don't all cap okay, anything well, but, I but think you females were strong. do that you were strong and about I, it yes and I definitely yeah. said yes it's okay but I think you have to when you okay, talk so, about venomous okay. like what what okay, I say the, what I said then was Preempted by Jason Romano, say, hey, yeah, you need to go ask Skip and make it okay, fun and do right. this. Okay. And so I did that. If I want to come at you, I'll come at you. I don't mix words. Okay, I don't but, but it was my words. first hint of, wait a minute, maybe we're not as cool as I thought we were. And now you've admitted to me lately, you lied to me about Troy because that's what you have to do. And I'm cool with that. But, but why should I say we're cool then, right? But my thing is, though, my thing is, first of all, I didn't say I lied. I told you, we talked about this morning, since we're going to bring up the things we talked about this morning in a closed door room, the thing about what Troy was, and I said these exact words, I said Troy was as healthy as he had mm -hmm. been the you whole time. And you which had, is and, not very. And, and, hey, that wasn't the point. See, this, this is the same thing. You're talking about the text, which is not very. I said, I said yes, Troy is okay. And I did say that. And to me, he was. And to me, he was as good as he'd ever been. And Not I think as good it, as he'd ever been. I, as good as, good as, good as he'd been playoffs. that season, yeah. yeah. And I think it goes back, though, it goes back to your tweets. You talk about your tweets and you're saying, okay, this is what you said and I lied to you. So telling you what is the truth just in my way, because that's what you did. You told us okay. the truth in your way. You gave us, this is why I can talk about this, because I was like Pistol Pete. And then you hit us with the all-time loser competitive line of the year. My coach didn't like me. No, he hated if, me. If a, if a player right now would say that, y'all would go crazy on it, because it would be like, oh, if you're, because this is the way I feel. Winners and win, because you had a winning coach. Winning coaches want to win games. Yeah, absolutely. And if they feel like you are vital enough yeah. to them winning games, then you will play, but you use that line. But we after you say after you used after you used your high school basketball career to validate you. And this is the thing. This is the thing. And I, I wasn't trying to validate. It was just ironic. Nobody asked you that though. You were trying well, to validate. Care. You just no put one it out there. Anything I put on it. Right. You just put it out there. And so now when you were attacked by it, it's become a problem. But this is the thing, and that you guys have to realize. And I think that I that and I realize for sure. You talk about these players having an opinion. This is the thing. I may one day, and I do now, I may one day get paid to be in the business that you guys have chosen as a career. And I may be good at it. I may not, but I will have that opportunity. No matter what happens, no matter how much money y'all get, no matter how old y'all get, y'all will never sit in the seat I sit in. Y'all will never be in the meeting. Y'all will never be able to say, hey, I stared down the barrel in cover two and nope. checked out of it and went over when Aaron Rodgers do that. And so... And, and you sitting here doesn't mean that you have gotten to the, the same point that we have. No, I'm not saying that. No, no, well, well I'm, I'm just going to say. Right. So just because, and, and I understand networks putting athletes on or whatever and dressing them up as reporters and having them interview each other and people right. think, oh, look, he's this. I don't think that you have really gone to the, the, the dream that we had growing up and the version of real journalism that we talk about. This isn't journalism. 
Exactly. Okay. But this well, is, this well, is my, skip, my, the, skip the, with, the, for a journalism degree. I have a journalism degree. It's a different mm -hmm. animal. Right, and I understand that. I'm not. I am not. I am not demeaning. No, no, no. I don't. Your, you guys' accomplishment. What I am saying is, I. It is possible I will have the opportunity to sit in the same seats that you guys sit in now. It is a possibility. It's not saying I can do it, not saying it will be done, not saying I will ever reach the, the level of journalism and professionalism that you do. Can but you will, but I can promise you, the thing I know, we don't know that. The thing I know is you will never sit in mind. You will never be able to speak can, to the can psyche I tell you this? of I, a football I, I, one player. One last thing I want to, I want, this is, you talk about how the unique job that you do and how few guys play safety in the NFL. How many, how many safeties there are, okay? So, so in, I, in I, any given... I didn't any say it given, was unique. No, no, I'm just saying, like, when you're a pro athlete. Right. Any given city, Skip worked in Chicago. How many people did the job that Skip did in Chicago? Is it four, two columnists at each paper? Mm -hmm. When I was in Detroit at the Detroit News, there were four guys who had that job. Mm -hmm. That's even more unique and it harder is. to obtain mm -hmm. than getting there. And that's what I'm trying to tell you is, you guys don't look at what we have to do to get to that position to do that yeah. and make that call this, and write this, that column this is and what, be that person This is what you're missing. It's I've very said, hard. I've said nothing about that job. I haven't demeaned that job anyway. I studied. I majored in mass communications. I understand how much work goes into what you do. And I'm not demeaning that. I'm not saying anything. I, you're, you, you're fighting a fight that I'm not trying to fight with you. You're arguing a point that I'm not arguing. I just think, the that, point, I just think you, players you discounted. Started, they think no, that, I don't, they think that but we, I just, don't, though. we just showed up. We just showed I, up. I, I didn't and, say hey, that. Just... But what I'm talking about is, on this show in particular, we've gotten outside of the realm of only talking about the sport. We talk about the people. We talk about the type of, the type of people we think we give a, you, we, you guys give opinions, oh, even if educated right. guesses. It's an opinion, it's opinion show. Every show is an opinion. Right, exactly. Show. So, so and that's what I'm saying. So, in saying that, we also can have an opinion on what y'all do. Oh, there's no doubt about right. it. But, but Ryan, if 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 I talk to enough players and people who say I know people in the Pittsburgh Steelers right. locker room, and I ask them about you, and I ask a couple other people and some players who played against you, and they give me some pieces, parts. That's that's what we do, and then we come and that's how we make. Every opinion should be, always remember, based on what? Not just having an opinion, but what is it based on? Yeah. What have you, have you talked to people? You know, like this whole idea, we can't call guys in the NBA scrubs. Yes, we can. I didn't yes, say that. No, I'm not, not okay. you. We, we yeah. can. You know yeah. why, Skip? Because we've talked to players and we yeah. ask about these guys and how they play. And Ryan, bottom line. I think we're line. talking around what I'm talking about. I don't yeah. care about calling a guy a scrub. What, what do you care about? I'm talking about when you speak to who a man is, because of what you see on TV as far as him playing a sport. You can't, like, we, talk, we talked earlier about, like, coaches that haven't played the game. Listen, yeah, they can learn the game enough to coach me and put me in the right position, but it's some okay. things they aren't going to okay. understand. Ryan, we have done, I have done one thing you will never, ever do. Dozens and dozens of times I've gone into locker rooms in baseball and basketball and especially football and I've gone eye to eye, toe to toe debating all of these issues with countless athletes who took issue with something I had written. And anytime any of those athletes want to come and do what you're doing right now, we welcome that. So we have open forum. You've gotten to say everything I think you wanted to say today. You're not censored. Nobody right? told you what you, to say. Yeah, right? like, but I'm saying, what, what point are you preaching? Like, I don't mind coming here and, you know, like, I'm not saying that y'all y'all guys don't go in and give athletes opportunities to talk and this, and I'm not saying that, but I'm saying this problem started because of an athlete started okay. saying okay. things about the okay. media. Okay, have we, have we cleared the air, you guys? Yes. Okay? The air's been clear. Mm -hmm. Okay. We did okay. Okay, good. Just want to make sure. We got to take another break. Uh, an important discussion and definitely one worth having. We could go on all day about this, but we're going to switch gears.